This video is like over a year in the making. You all have been asking for this for so long and we are finally joined again by a special guest. Miss Sierra Schultz is in the house, everybody. In the virtual house because we're trying to yeah. be socially conscious. Socially distant <laughs> friendships, woo! Raise the virtual roof, y'all. If you've watched any of mine and Sierra's videos together in the past, then you will know that we love trying on the same exact outfits from different stores. And so we wanted to think of a way to sort of bring that to you virtually, safely, socially distanced, but like still give you the videos that you really wanna see from us. And the videos that we love making. Very true. So we thought that a fun twist on those types of videos would be to wear the same exact clothing pieces, but style them completely differently. So for this video, I have ordered three different clothing pieces for both Sierra and myself to style. We're gonna be reacting to how we styled them in this video. It's gonna be so much fun. We took cute little pictures for Instagram. And if you go over to Sierra's channel, then you will see that she picked out three different pieces for me. We styled them, compared them. It was such a blast. So make sure you check out her video. It is linked in the description box below. It was so much fun. It was almost as fun as filming together in the same room. <laughs> I'm really excited to see how Sierra has styled these different pieces because I feel like for this video, I picked a couple of things that were more my style, but then sort of like a marriage of the two of our styles. So let's see how we did. So for the first item, this is from a black owned brand called Reb Dolls. I had been seeing them talked about a lot on Instagram. So this was the perfect excuse. And I was going back and forth about what to choose for the first item. I wanted it to be simple, like something that wasn't like too wacky or crazy or out of the box, but also like, you know, not boring. So I managed to find this little crop top, which is sort of like a square neck, ish type of crop top and it's kind of like a peasant style top. It's got like a, a little bit of ruching, like stretchiness here at the bottom. I got this in a size 1X. I've never tried this brand before, so I'm hoping this is the right size for both of us. And I love this red floral print. I'm obviously still very much in summer right now because of where I live. It's extremely hot out today, like 107 degrees. So I feel like this would be a good transition piece as well. Like it's still, you know, in the right color scheme to where you could wear it for fall and winter. So I'm excited to see how Sierra styles this. I feel like if there's one where we dress the most similar, it's gonna be this, but I don't know, we'll see. Let's see what Sierra did with this outfit and what kind of look she came up with. Okay, so Carrie sent me this red, I, I think it's off the shoulder, not quite off the shoulder, like square neck, smocked at the bottom, red floral blouse. I'm a little bit nervous about this one because it is such a statement piece. Like there's only so many different ways that I can style this. So. I I wouldn't be surprised if Carrie and I end up styling this in like exactly the same way. But I have some thoughts, I have some ideas, I have some pants in my drawer that I think might look pretty cute with this. So uh, I am gonna go raid my own closet and see what I can come up with. All right, and here is my first outfit. This is absolutely the cutest. I did a little like ponytail moment with some gold accessories. I think that this top is like the perfect length of cropped. And then I went with these American Eagle jeans. I've had these forever and they're just super, super distressed. I thought like sort of the pairing of the more like girly kind of floral top would look really cute with these ripped jeans. And then these platform shoes I actually just got on Poshmark. So really affordable, very cute. And I'm feeling myself in this. This is such a cute look. This actually might be like one of my new favorite outfits. I'm not just saying that cause like I put it together, but like it's pretty cute. I must say. This shirt is probably the easiest item that Carrie gave me to style, but for whatever reason, I'm having a really hard time with it, honestly. And I think it's because I'm trying a little bit too hard to like style it in a unique way. Because in my real life, if I was gonna wear a shirt like this, I would probably just wear it with denim shorts, but I felt like that was too easy. Like that's too safe. So I tried these high-waisted paper bag waist pants and I feel like it just doesn't, it doesn't flow. It doesn't, it doesn't, fit well together or maybe it does also the off the shoulder part isn't fitting me perfectly i think i also need to change my bra i think this should be easy right like this shouldn't this shouldn't be that hard why is it so hard for me or maybe i'm overthinking it and this is cute i don't know well we'll see i need to think about it a few moments later okay i i like this much better i'm not sure if it's perfect but i definitely like this better than the pants i think because the top is smocked here it just didn't look quite 
quite right with like the tie waist pants. This is a little bit on the simpler side still, but I do like it better than just doing like plain denim. So I think I'm gonna try this and uh, see if I can throw in some fun accessories to, uh, to make it a little bit more elevated. Now is the moment of truth. We are going to compare photos and see how we styled this red top. It's kind of like hard to style it any other way than like classically, I think, in my opinion. So I'm really excited to see if we did the same thing. Are you ready? I am ready. Okay. One, two, two three. three. Oh, oh my god! Cute. This is so adorable. Oh, this is Wait, cute. the earrings? Okay. You're the cutest. You are the cutest. Oh my gosh. I first tried on like a pair of pants like not jeans, but like soft pants. And they just looked a little funky. And so then I went to the shorts that were kind of the same, but this looks so freaking cute with jeans. Thank you. I was sort of like, okay, how many different ways are there to actually style this? Cause you obviously have to do like a solid on the bottom. So it was either like jeans, some type of shorts. And I actually almost considered doing like a pair of white cutoffs that I had. Again, just like we're always on the same wavelength. But what did you think <laughs> of the top overall? I really liked it. I feel like it was a little bit hard to style at first because like you said, there's only so many ways that you can style this. Yeah. It's a pretty, like it's the statement piece of the outfit. Yeah. And so in some ways that made it easy because it's like, all right, my options are, you know, there's only so many ways, but then in other ways that made it hard because I still wanted it to be like a cool, cute outfit. I really like the top. I feel like I'm totally gonna wear it outside of this video. Good, I'm glad. And that's sort of what I was like hoping for. And also, you know, I know we had like both talked about this, about how we wanted to pick something for each other that wasn't just like super boring and plain, but also like something that was stylable and that you would be able to wear as well. So it was like, it was hard to kind of balance all of it, but I'm glad this first one worked out. It's so cute. I love your look. I love the cactus in the background. You look adorable. I love these shorts and I actually want them, so. Thank you so much. They're from Target. So wait, oh. no. Yeah, they're from Target. <laughs> we love Target in this house. Next for my second item, I was kind of going back and forth about this because this is a brand that both Sierra and I really love and it's a clothing item that both Sierra and I really love, but it is like on the more casual side, but also we're literally all hopefully just mostly staying home right now. So I thought it might work and honestly, who's surprised it's a video of mine. So there's gonna be bike shorts. So I decided to pick up these white bike shorts from American Eagle. Yes, they are white. I liked the idea of these when I saw them. I don't know, I have a bunch of different colors. I have a bunch of different textures. These are more of like a soft kind of like loungy type of bike short. I got these in an extra large for both of us. And I just thought it'd be so fun to either like go full out and do like a fun dressed up kind of look with these or like a really chill mellow look. I haven't decided what I'm gonna do yet. So I'm gonna play around, but I'm really excited to see what these look like on Sierra. I am pretty sure she's gonna like them. She didn't used to like bike shorts and then we became friends and I definitely feel that I convinced her. So hopefully she's still on the bike short train with me. Let's find out. All right, so I think Carrie thinks that she's throwing me a curveball with these white bike shorts because once upon a time when Carrie and I did one of our first collabs, I was an adamant hater of bike shorts. I, I admit it, I was completely wrong. Carrie was right, bike shorts are fantastic. And my love for bike shorts has evolved to such a point that I already own a pair of white bike shorts. Granted, I've never worn them out of the house. I wear them to like work out a lot and I also just kind of lounge in them a lot, but I've never tried to style them into an actual outfit that I would leave the house in. And Carrie has called upon me. It is now my time and I feel like there are two ways I could do this. I could style this just kind of the way that I do around the house, but a little bit more elevated or I can try and go with like an all white kind of like Instagram baddie look. And I think I am gonna pull a newsies and seize the day and try and go all out <laughs> with these white bike shorts. Carrie definitely isn't gonna get that reference. It's a theater kid thing, but someone out there will. And that joke is for you. 
Okay, so I had a couple of ideas for this one, but the one that just could not leave my head was this folklore sweatshirt that I got when Taylor Swift's album came out, obviously. I bought all eight of the albums. I bought this sweatshirt. I have a problem. That's not what we're gonna talk about here in this video, but I really wanted my moment for her to shine. So I felt like these just go so well together. It's like such a cozy, staying in type of look. And obviously, hopefully, all of us, unless we absolutely have to, are staying home. So this is like actually what I'd most likely be wearing these days. And I think it's just such a fun way to look cute, but stay super comfy and casual at the same time. So yeah, I sort of like, I was teetering on like, do I go full leather jacket, combat boots, band tee, because that would look really cute with these bike shorts as well. But I just got to stick to comfort. Oh, also these little lettuce hem socks I got on Amazon. My necklace is from Madewell. And then this one is from Target. And then I have a cute little fuzzy, it's like a faux fur, kind of like burnt orange-ish warm brown scrunchie. Is this cheating to call it an outfit? I don't know but this is what we're working with. <laughs> okay, I feel like Carrie low-key kind of forced me out of my comfort zone with these bike shorts, but the result I actually really like. So here's how I'm thinking of styling it for the mini photo shoot. I have this bra from Fabletics, but I wasn't sure if it was gonna match perfectly because the bra's more of like a mesh, and I knew I wanted to layer something over it, and I feel like this oversized denim jacket kind of disguises how different these two pieces are, and it just makes the look more kind of effortless, I guess. And I think I'm gonna play up the like athleisure insta baddie aspect of this outfit. I have this necklace that I got on Etsy that's actually made from like a vintage Louis Vuitton lock. And then I have these sneakers and they match with the denim and with the necklace. And so I feel like if I put that on, maybe it'll tie the whole look together. If, if you don't know my channel, I'm about the furthest thing you can get from an insta baddie. So <laughs> it's gonna take a lot for me to channel that. But I, I feel like it, it might, Kind of work, maybe? Carrie, help me out here. So here we go, second outfit, bike shorts, number two. Are you ready? Okay, here's the thing with this outfit before I send it. I had so many reservations with the way I styled this. I was like, oh, it doesn't really feel like me. I kind of went like the Insta baddie route, which is very not me. But in the end, I think this is my favorite outfit from both of our videos. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And it was funny because remember when you hated bike shorts? <laughs> yes. That's sort of why I wanted to do this because I was like, okay, there was a point in time where she didn't like them. So this was like my challenge item, I guess you could say. And then you showed me the light and I have never looked back. So God bless Carrie Dayton for introducing me to bike shorts. You're so welcome. <laughs> it's the pleasure of my lifetime. Okay, are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have to explain. Mine was like, okay, I'm trying to be socially distanced. And I love that we both did like socially distanced queen, like safety, COVID. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, so I wore, I had to have an excuse to wear my new Taylor Swift. I love it. I love what you did. It looks so good, the mask. Thank you so much. I love yours. I feel like it's so like comfy and cozy and like honestly, more how I would actually style it too, like especially during the pandemic. That's another reason I kind of decided to go the full like, insta batty way because it is so out of my comfort zone and the mask was actually kind of unintentional i was just wearing my mask as we like walked to the photo location and then we got there and i forgot to take it off for the first photo and then i was like actually this totally goes with the outfit yeah it really looks so good this was honestly perfect like i can't believe i didn't think of this i'm actually a little mad like this is so <laughs> cute and just the white on white looks so good i really really love it you killed it thank you i think it was my favorite Yay, oh my gosh, so fun. Hi, editing Carrie here. Just wanted to quickly pop in and elaborate on this next section of the video a little further before we jump in. This whole video that you're seeing was actually filmed about two weeks ago. Um, we ordered for this video about a month ago. However, as of this week, there has been a lot of controversy going on surrounding this next brand that I will be talking about, which is Lucy and & Yak. And this was actually brought to my attention by a lot of you who watch my videos. So thank you so much for everyone who directed this my way. But there is an amazing creator named 
named Aja Barber on Instagram. She does a lot of work in the sustainable plus size fashion world. And she has called on them to have some accountability on things that they have been preaching, like extending their sizing for a long time and not actually doing so. Things like displaying some pretty shady behaviors that are really similar to fast fashion brands, yet they claim to be ethical and sustainable. There was a controversy where they took a photo of a disabled person and put it up in their store without actually paying that person. They've consulted Aja for her work and emotional labor in the past and not paid her. And there's just a lot of not great things that are coming to light. And because of this brand's response to Aja and just their horrendous management of this situation in general, victimizing themselves, Aja has received tons of threats and really racist and awful comments and DMs. So I thought I would use my platform to speak up and use this as an opportunity to say I cannot support and do not recommend supporting this brand any longer. It's just a bummer because, you know, I wanted to feature an ethical and sustainable brand and it turns out they're not really that ethical at all. So huge bummer, but I did want to go ahead and move forward with the video, but not without mentioning this first. So let's go ahead and try to make the best of this situation and move on with the last item. And my last item here is from a brand that I actually featured in a recent video. And this brand is called Lucy and Yak. But I saw these dungarees as they call them, overalls as we call them on this side of the pond, but they are this really pretty lilac color. They're actually a little bit brighter in person. I haven't even tried these on yet. I'm so, so excited. They have like a cute little tie around the front. So it's not like the typical buckle. And these are really similar to a overall dress that I used to have that I wore in photos with Sierra. And I remember her saying that she really liked them, but I know that this isn't really her style at all, but that's kind of the fun of it. You know, like putting each other in something that maybe isn't necessarily our style, but like we're forced to style it and then see what the difference is between us. So I don't know, I'm really excited about it. I already have a look picked out in my mind, but I am so pumped to see how Sierra styled this. So let's check it out. Okay, purple overalls. I am not very experienced in the realm of overalls, but I do really like this pretty lilac color. And I feel like trying to style overalls for like a style challenge like this is a good opportunity to try and like push myself a little bit and style them when normally I would just chicken out and not. So Carrie, I am going to try my best to rise to the occasion and uh, pop that overall cherry. <laughs> Maybe we should cut that. I'm sorry, Carrie. This this has been a long day. <laughs> okay, and for this last one here, um, I'm I'm not 100% sure how I feel about these overalls and I'm the one who ordered them. Maybe these will grow on me. They're a little big, which is fine. They're, you know, meant to be oversized, but I did try to play off the cute color of it and do sort of like a cotton candy pastel moment. So I paired it with this thrifted top that Alexa actually thrifted for me. And then I decided to just wear the same white sneakers that I wore in the first look because they're just super comfortable and I feel like they complement this well. I thought about potentially wearing some white combat boots with these, but I kind of just wanted to keep it like nice and simple, soft, if you will. So not my favorite look, to be perfectly honest. Like I, this is a challenge. I'm really looking forward to seeing how Sierra styles this because I don't think these are really her style at all. And it's gonna be really interesting to see what she decides to pair with it. But this is what I came up with. So let's take some pictures and see how it translates on camera. So not the most experienced overall wearer here, but I'm gonna try my best. So here are the purple Lucy and Yak overalls that Carrie picked out. And I actually, I do like them. They're pretty comfy. My main issue with these right now is that the fabric is bunching a lot in the crotch. So I feel like I keep having to pull it out, readjust, do that dance. So you know what? Maybe I just need to get used to it and get accustomed to the fabric crotch. <laughs> so what I'm thinking for this outfit is to layer this gray long sleeve under it and then put on my Doc Martens and this little gray beanie. See? Fabric crotch. <laughs> but I feel like this is pretty cute. I feel like it's good, especially transitioning into fall. But I did have one other idea that I'm still kind of considering. And that is to layer this really fun long sleeve tie dye underneath instead. I don't know if that would be too much or if it would play into the purple really well. I don't know. I feel like I should try it. I should at least try it. All right. I'm glad I tried it so I could at least rule it out. But I do think I like the gray better. I'm going to put that back on. I'm going to put on the shoes, the beanie. Oh, 
Oh, a pocket. There's pockets in the front. I didn't even notice these before. <laughs> I noticed that there were pockets here, but I wasn't sure if they were real pockets or fake pockets, and I hate fake pockets. So very glad to see that there are no phony pockets here. Real pockets. All right, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna put this together, and uh, we'll go take our photo. That's it. I've done all I can do. <laughs> I'm at capacity for the day. Okay, so speaking of challenge, like I said before, this was a challenge for me. You know, I ordered this item, I had a similar one, and I was thinking it was gonna be the same exact way, and it wasn't. Like, I was like, what? do I do with this? I tried on so many different things and even what I ended up with I wasn't 100% in love with. How did you feel about it? Okay, so my biggest challenge with this, which I talked about in like my try on clips, was that the fabric kept bunching at my crotch. Like it was like all the fabric was just pointing to my crotch. And so I kept doing the dance where I like pull it out of my crotch. Cute. So I compensated for that with my pose. So mm. I just kind of essentially did like a fully leg spread pose so that you can't see the fabric bunch. But I'm there. really excited. Okay, you ready? I am ready. Also, I kind of looked like a plumber, but it's like a cute plumber. Yeah, absolutely. Like a pastel purple plumber. Okay, ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Wait, no, cute. that's so cute. Oh my gosh. No, I love it. I love that you did like a neutral with it because I was like, I went the opposite direction. I was like, I'm just gonna go full cotton candy. Like whatever, let's go pedal to the metal. It worked so well this is so cute I love how like the ruffles on the shirt like are just perfectly displayed in the pose like it's so cute wow thank you this was the one where I was just like I don't know about this uh, Drew and I basically made this set up in our bathroom it was very um, chaotic I love yours so much more. I see what you're saying with the pose now though. I would have never noticed if you didn't say anything, but that's so funny. And I really, really like the Doc Martens with it. I feel like that's probably the key to this clothing item is like you have to like grunge it up a bit. Yeah, I feel like especially since it's that pastel purple, but it is mm -hmm. overalls, like there's one or two ways you can go. You can lean into the purple or you can lean into the overalls. <laughs> and that's why I think it's so fun that you leaned into the purple and mm -hmm. I kind of leaned into the overalls grungy. Aspect. I can't believe I didn't think of a beanie. That's so freaking cute. I love it. I love Thank it. Thank you. My favorite one that you did was actually the last one. And I really? know you said that was the most difficult, but it's yeah. just the way you styled it with like the rattan chair and the plants, like, and it's so, it's exactly what you said. It's like cotton candy cottage core princess and I love it. Thank you so much. I think my favorite of yours was the bike shorts because you wore it exactly how I would only dream of wearing it. So you gave me like such a cute idea for how I'm actually gonna style them because obviously like we both have them now and I think you absolutely crushed it. So it's funny, we both agree on you. Our favorite look was the same one. So we hope you enjoyed this video. This was so, so much fun to film. Let us know in the comments below if you want us to do something similar if you have any other ideas for virtual safe socially distanced collabs you want us to do don't forget to head over to Sierra's channel to see which items that she picked out for me how I styled them it was such a blast to do this video give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribe to Sierra send her all the love she is honestly one of my favorite people ever I just love her I am very much looking forward to our FaceTime wine date that we have coming up. And until next time, we will see you very soon.